livestock breeds or populations vary according to the areas, regions of the world. Africa is so special in that it uh, presents a, a variety of ecologies and therefore the populations that have, of livestock that have thrived in, for years, for millennia, are those that are adapted to those specific conditions. These conditions are changing. Breeds are disappearing because of pressure for commercialization. Farmers won't make money. They have to pay hospital bills, they have to pay fees, they have to compete for, for the market with the rest of the world. Figures are in the tunes of uh, thousands are, have disappeared already. Some are disappearing as we speak. Different breeds react to different environmental conditions differently. So what is desirable in one production system may not necessarily be desirable in a, a different production system. And that is why we are saying as production systems change and with the drivers that are unpredictable as, as, as such as climate change, we need to be careful to sample enough populations of animals or cattle, sheep and goats, chicken, which are already well adapted to those conditions. Not enough is known about the indigenous breeds, particularly in Africa. And nobody is paying much attention to their conservation because one who pays that price. The farmers out there are competing with other farmers for similar market. It means that our dilemma is we have to find out what is good, separating the chaff from the, the seed. That's a huge task. We have to work with the farmers as we do that and the pressure is on. Again, global uh, agreements are such that those uh, conservations should be the remit of the countries. And yet countries are busy dealing with huge food security issues, diseases, poverty. Where do they put their money? Do they put their money to conserve breeds that they don't know fully the attributes of? Where are the alternatives? Where people have worked on? So this is where there is need for real synergies, combined effort, informed decision, science has to inform which animals, which breeds, which populations should be put in there. But we are not advocating for stamp collection. The best way for conserving a breed or a population is making it relevant and competitive. We have to unearth what is the specific attribute, make sure that that attribute is enhanced, then that breed will stay on because if it is useful, if it is productive, there are no threats.